Hello? In this session, we will create a spiral-shaped effect using the Niagara system. First, create the Niagara system by adding an empty emitter. Create a spawn particles in grid to form a grid. Then, like in the video, set up the rows and columns of the grid and adjust the spacing. Next, to give upward and downward movement to the grid, create a system location in particle update, set up an add vector as seen in the video, and then configure position and sign. Then, once the particles have been created in the grid shape, to prevent them from disappearing, set the life cycle mode to self and the loop behavior to once in emitter state. And in particle state, uncheck kill particles. When lifetime elapsed, next, add a fountain emitter. Remove unnecessary modules from the fountain emitter as shown in the video and create a scratch pad module. Next, to read the location of the initially created grid, create a particle attribute reader. Then, to get each particle's location, create a get vector. By index node, connect it to the particle attribute reader and write position in attribute and set the particle index as the input value to make it the destination based on each particle's assigned index. Next, set the vector3 pin of get vector by index node to map set, as seen in the video, and set it as particle attribute so that the location values of grid particle can be used in other modules. Next, to use the particle attribute reader, you need to write the name of the emitter, so change the name of the emitter of the base grid particle and write that name in the scratch module. Then, set random range int to particle index, allowing the scattering particles to receive the location values of random grid particles. Currently, it is not centered on grid particle. Set the offset in grid location. To accommodate many particles, convert the two emitters to GPU. and set a high spawn rate in the fountain to generate a large amount of particles. Next, create a point attraction force and set the particle attribute created in the module to the attractor position offset so that the particles assigned random location values can reach those locations. Then, to allow particles to scatter from a higher place, create a system location and set the Z value. Next, create a vortex force to give spiral movement. And to add oscillating movement, add sign to vortex force amount. Then, create a curl noise force to add a bit of noise to the movement. Next, Create a scale sprite size so that the particle size changes over time. Then, change the particle color to linear color in scale color, set it to curve, and configure it so that the particles change color according to lifetime. Finally, set the alignment to velocity aligned in Sprite Renderer to allow particles to rotate in the direction of velocity and set the sprite size to random non-uniform in initialize particle to elongate it.
deactivate the sprite renderer in grid particle to make the destination particles invisible. Now, place the created Niagara system in the level. 